all of the Lightning implementations, or you know, like you have uh, LDK, which is is loosely tied to Block. That's right. You have LND tied to Lightning Labs. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Core Lightning tied to Blockstream. There's there's like corporate ties with all these mm -hmm. implementations. Are there any incentives for a corporation to promote their implementation over another? Are there any like Oh, like yeah. what, what's the end game there for the corp, from the corporate standpoint of having a majority share or a growing share of the market? I mean, so like, I think that the, the block team, LDK, and our team, well, okay, let's like, hang on, let's, I think that like, it depends on where your money's coming from, I think, to some extent, like where your incentives are, right? So... Uh, Lightning Labs and Eclair are the only two teams that have been have raised venture capital and have sold someone a story about how Lightning is going to change the world in XYZ way and they're going to be the firm that's doing it, right? So I think that when you every time you raise VC money, you're telling them a story. So every time you raise money from someone, you are selling them a picture of a future that you're going to build, usually. Um, especially in like pre-revenue companies, which most lightning companies were like pre-revenue when they're raising funds, right? So typically when you like go and raise money, you're like selling a narrative of how this is going to like create a new market, right? And how you in that market are going to like dominate and them giving you them money is going to like, um, get them lots of returns, et cetera, right? I like to call this like the motivated capital problem. Like the way that you motivate money like how do you convince someone to give you money right one thing that's really motivating for capital is like the promise of more capital in the future returns right so you promise them that you're going to give them like returns in some way um a lot of companies in like the DeFi space you know issue tokens because that's like how they reward people like investing in their platform so a lot of like crypto infrastructure projects outside of bitcoin like sell VCs on the token that they give them. So they give VCs tons of tokens that they can go sell. So the motivation for giving money to these companies is that you get tokens that then there's liquidity later and you can sell the tokens or like whatever governance things, etc. Anyway, so um so that's like that's probably so like Async and Lightning Labs are both companies that take VC money, which means that there's some narrative that they've like sold companies. I don't know what, those aren't public usually. Usually companies are pretty close trusted about what they're telling their VCs. Um, but I can imagine that like whatever their incentives are, their incentives are to make sure that the story they told the VCs actually happen, right? Um, yeah. Whereas like, and to kind of contrast that to like the Blockstream case and then Spiral is like another good case. So Spiral and our Blockstream projects for a large part um, were not core to the companies like at least historically haven't been core to like what the company is making money on like blockstream is a bitcoin infrastructure project we invest as a company um we have a huge research team we probably employ more core bitcoin devs as an organization than anyone else um like our belief in our our organization like puts a lot of money towards the bitcoin ecosystem as a whole and we saw lightning as being like a really big and important part of the lightning eco of the bitcoin ecosystem so like our company's investment in lightning has been honestly pretty small because like our team was only three people for a very long time um part of the reason it was small was because like um you know we're not like selling a story to VCs and then hiring a bunch of people and trying to get a bunch of people building out our vision, et cetera. We're just like working on making the spec better, making sure that like we implement the spec, making sure the spec process works, making sure that there's like kind of a reference implementation, et cetera, of like everything in the spec that's written in C, et cetera. So like our focus has been, you know, we've been like add new things to the spec, like improve lightning from spec driven processes, et cetera. Like that's been kind of our focus as an organization. Spiral also is like a let's build, you know, let's re-implement the spec. Let's they've I think they've been like more mobile focused than we have, um, like on what does lightning on mobile phones look like. Um, but they're like a non profit e arm of the block organization. So I think like 
you know, they've never gone out and sold a story, I think, to investors, etc. Um, I know they have a product guy who, Steve Lee, who's great. Um, he's been working really hard and having a lot of conversations with people to try and get more people using LDK because their, um, their corporate strategy or like, you know, they may not be a direct revenue generator for the organization, but at some point they need to prove like adoption, right? Or like that people are using the stuff that they're building. So, um, I think for like the spiral team, they really care about the, they really care about being like a reference implementation sort of of sorts in Rust. They don't want to be a full node. If you want to use um, the LDK, you have to like put all the parts together yourself. So it's like no batteries included. You got to like, it's not like an out of the box thing. You can just set up and run and like have a lightning node. You like have to know how to put all the parts together. Um, they're hoping to be more of like the developer's lightning solution. So if you're building like a application that you needs lightning, you can use LDK to like do that. Um, anyways, whereas like, yeah, but like, so then like, you know, you get around to like, okay, like lightning labs, I think is obviously the one that a lot of people sort of like question their motives on one, because they have so much market share for part of the reasons we talked about earlier. Um, the other is they are one of the few firms, like the only firm, well, I shouldn't leave async out. They always get upset when we forget that they also are like VC funded and doing great things for lightning out in France. Um, but, uh, I think the lightning labs team, like, you know, people do really question, like, what are they, how are they planning to pay back their VCs? Like, what is the narrative that they as an organization have, like, have they been selling, so to speak, to justify people investing in them, et cetera, right? I mean, I think mm. a lot of companies for a long time don't make money and don't have plans to, but at some point, you know, like Uber, for example, has been selling the fact that they're going to get made, like, was worth a lot of money for a long time, even though they're losing a ton of money, right? And part of the way they kept raising VC capital is by saying that they were going to make uh, self-driving cars happen, right? So they were selling like, hey, we're making self-driving cars happen. So they were allowed to go out and lose a lot of money in the taxi cab business and undercut yellow cabs with the thought that the yellow cabs would die out one. So no yellow cabs exist. Now you have to take an Uber so you become a captive market. Um, and then at some point they were going to like even cut out drivers, right. And use automated driving. I call it automated intelligence as AI. Cause I think artificial isn't true. It's just automated. We've like figured out how to automate intelligence. So like automated drivers. Um, so anyway, so like, you know, that's like, that's like the Uber like pitch, right. It's like, we're going to make automated intelligence work on driving and we're going to like become a semi monopoly by like getting rid of all the competition by like just driving the prices down such that everyone uses Ubers and becomes like Uber accustomed. And then once everyone's using Uber in theory, you can like charge more money, right? There's no alternative. Um, right. So yeah. if you were, if you were building a, the Uber of lightning and you had gone out and raised all this money and you had said, you know, Hey, we're going to build this implementation and mm -hmm. And you were trying to build a monopoly from scratch and trying to become mm -hmm. the leading, you know, implementation. What might that look like? And what could some of the negative implications be of, you know, someone taking that approach? Well, so I think one thing, I mean, so like one part of, I think one part of being market dominant is that your necessity you don't feel the need to build things everyone else is building like the spec process we were talking about at the beginning has really i think suffered from the dominance of like labs in the marketplace because they add features to their node that only other lightning labs nodes can use or know about that doesn't really impact them because most people are running their implementation so if they ship it and don't write it down and don't put it as part of the spec process and don't make it easy or like documented for anyone else to pick up and re-implement. Um, that kind of becomes like a little bit of a moat, right? Like you don't want to leave the Lightning Labs implementation land because you'll leave this feature that they've built, but no one else can build that feature because it hasn't been added to part of the spec process. So um, the motivation for collaboration on a shared spec, I think definitely goes down because if you can build that walled garden and you can build paid services on top of that walled garden to some extent that you've built, um, there's really not a lot of downsides to you doing that. Right. Um, I think that the lightning network would be a lot healthier if we had like 30, if each implementation had like 
20 to 30 percent of all the nodes ran a different implementation and there wasn't a single dominant player that would be a lot better i think in terms of like everyone needing to collaborate to move the network forward together if that makes sense so mm.